At that time I was strong. I understood my mission. I was not supposed to have any feelings. I was a camera. And I didn't have any feelings for some time. I didn't see humans. There was a crowd some out of reality. A crowd which had many heads, many legs, many arms, many eyes. But it was something like a collective, collective, again, pulsating, moving, shouting, body. I was observing this. From the back of this crowd, shots pushing the, the crowd with bats, shouting, and you then rouse, rouse, pushing them to the front, by the gates, shots, rouse, rouse, through the gate to the platform. They were moving into the platform. Hey, excuse me. It was very different uh, from the, the Warsaw ghetto. It was a complete other thing. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Warsaw ghetto, there were humans. Misery, degradation. But they were living. This, at that point, were not humans. They did not live. They were moving, they were shouting, they were beating each other, they were scratching each other. By the gate, pushing them through the gate into the platform, on, on the ramp, towards the tracks. They, they had to climb. Well, probably 100, 120, 130, I don't know, into a truck. There was no room. So again, they were pushing by bats. Again, shots to push them, push them into the trucks. Jews in the trucks, by the way, helping them. Then they did not want to help them anymore. So then the Jews who were on the ramp, raising their bodies, pushing them, they were on, on the heads just into, into the tracks. Two tracks filled, the train moved. Empty two tracks. The same procedure. The Jews now realized that they have to fill apparently the whole track. They didn't want to go. Those who were on the ramp now, they did not want to enter. They w wanted to go back, but they couldn't because the crowd was pushing them forward, the Jewish crowd, because from the back they were pushing them. They were b b b b shooting from the back. So it was some, something unbelievable. It was un un unbelievable. How long did I stay there? I don't know. And then I could detect it. It happened like, then at a certain point, I saw humans, that they are humans. And I, I went back. In the direction of the same gate I am. What do you mean? Suddenly you, you rea realize yourself that they were you. I didn't you want to see them as humans. And I controlled myself, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever, I stood there. I did not want to have any feelings. I did not have any feelings. But uh, I was just seeing something which I was supposed then to tell the people. Excuse me, do you think that these people, excuse me for my questions, do you think that these people were waiting uh, inside the camp for a long time already? I think, as it looked to me, that they might have been there for days. Starving? Starving, apparently no food. Well, I saw how they looked. Starving, hung hungry, insane, mad, again, eyes. You saw why, their eyes. 
And oh, then yes. again, un unlike, <laughs> unlike the Jewish ghetto, they were actually fighting against each other. They were scratching, they were quarreling, they were swearing, this moving, moving. Some organism with legs, with eyes, with noses, whatsoever. I controlled myself. I realized again, no feelings, stay here, look, 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 no feelings. And then after a certain time, yes, uh, 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 apparently it came too deeply into me. Humans, they are individuals here. And then I lost control. I realized I don't know what I did. I might, I might jump at some Gestapo and start fighting him. I might go with the Jews to the train. I, I, I realized that things got out of control with me. I go back. In the direction of that gate, I entered. Now the Estonian. Do, do you know what happened in the train? No, the train. I saw it. Because I was by the gate. When now empty, the train moves. And then by the uh, ramp, uh, for a fraction of whatever it is time, the track is empty. I see it. The floor covered with some white powder. What was this powder? Then I learned. Quicklime. What was why quicklime? No, quicklime. Quicklime, say, the chauvin. Jews who were in pushed into the train. They were to die there. But the Germans apparently wanted to avoid disease. The Jews evidently had to urinate whatsoever. So again, for some sort of This horrible to say hygienic for the medical reasons. There was a quick line over there. The Jews were standing on the quick line. Well, apparently they kept them until they died when they moved the, the whole train. And they had no disease. And the atmosphere, the environment was not diseased by the decomposed bodies, and there was less smell, there was less stench whatsoever. That's what they were trying to do, actually. Well, so I go to the gate, uh, the militiaman, he understood something funny. He goes by me without any difficulty. We left the camp. I go back to the store, and then I go back. But this is the problem of Belzec. At the time you, you went to Belzec, uh, they had stopped the gas chamber. There were six gas chambers in Belzec because they couldn't uh, handle the corpses. The corpses were buried in uh, uh, huge pits uh, uh, which were dug in the sand. And uh, we know that uh, the, uh, the pits were blown in as the corpses uh, liquid was running down and they it's one of the reason why they stopped uh, the gas chamber in Belzec after so now eight in that months. camp and they, they killed them like this in the train with quick line because uh, they were already half burned and it was easier for the for the in this camp it is evident I saw only a fraction of the camp. From the gate I entered to the main gate, uh, 
keeping as near as possible the barbed wire. Now, what was inside, deeper in the, the camp, I never went there. Yes, I saw some barracks. I saw, as a matter of fact, some solid, high, perhaps eight feet whatsoever, fence. 